Hello internet friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay or Elijah, and today I'm going to be speaking to you on tools versus toys. So we're gonna get right into this subject. If you'd like to talk to me more about this, more about your type, type related type matters, uh, or some other things as well, you can book a session with me below on Snug. So here we go. All right, so I wanna start off by saying the concept of doing what you love uh, for income, for work, is a great concept, and I think it's absolutely attainable. However, I do think that it has pushed some people down a road of a lot of frustration. And so if you're a person who is set out on doing what you love, you're hitting those goals to um, take the things that you're passionate about and really bring them to fruition for you know, kind of like the utility of your life in terms of income and other things like that. Awesome, power to you, great goal, keep going for it. However, if you are a person that has tried to do things that you love and enjoy and find value in as the utility part of your life and it's not really working out for you, this video is really going to be for you and uh, how you can maybe look at things a little bit differently and find some peace in that. So what I want you to leave this video understanding is the concept of tools versus toys and why it is okay to keep things categorically separate. All right, so what is a toy? Because I'm certainly not talking about, you know, little, little toys. Toy is something in your life that gives you entertainment or it gives you novel value or it's simply just to make you happy, for you to enjoy life, all, all of the good feels, right? This is something that has a toy quality to it. So think about when you were a kid and you were picking up a toy, right? Why were you picking up that toy? Were you picking up that toy to start a business? Were you picking up that toy to create financial stability? Were you picking up that toy to learn a new skill uh, that would better you and progress you? Probably not. Probably not. You were picking up that toy because it brought you entertainment value. It brought you something that was enjoyable and that was your intent when using that toy. You were drawn to the toy because you wanted to play. Its function was entertainment and fun. All right, and what is a tool? Well, a tool is something that provides utility in some area that allows for progress. Tools have an application and to gather enough tools in your toolbox, you might just become an expert in some area. Uh, your tools may be related to mathematics or linguistics or cognitive psychology. And I would say that in general, tools help things work better. And in this case, the, the thing is you. And toys, well, they help us live better. And living better is certainly a good reason to keep them around. Now, sometimes your tools and your toys can work to, together. Uh, I had a friend who really enjoyed these like off-roading vehicles and just like a complete passion, went in, learned everything that he could about them and he turned it into a business, um, a business for those off-road vehicles. And it was something that was both a toy to him, right? It provided a lot of enjoyment, but also it created a lot of utility through making it into a business. But sometimes it doesn't go so smoothly. Sometimes when you try to combine your toys with your tools, you end up with a wrench with googly eyes on it and I'm trying to sell it for bitcoins and nobody wants to buy it, damn it. So when you're looking at your own growth and achieving your own goals, it's often good to ask, do these two things really work together? And even better, do I even want them to work together? Because it's okay to just keep your toys, your toys. You don't have to share them with everyone. You can just allow them to bring you enjoyment and that is their function alone. So the next time you're in pursuit of a thing or you're dreaming a thing or trying to achieve a thing, first ask yourself, is this a tool or is this a toy? Am I trying to force my toy to become a tool when I don't really need to? And maybe just having it for the sake of its own entertainment value is simply enough as it is. So that's it for this video. I hope it helped you to understand a little bit better about the concept of tools and toys as it relates to things in your own life that you are dreaming to achieve and uh, how things can work together but also not work together and that is just as okay. So that's it for this video. I will see you guys next time in my next video. Goodbye, internet friends. Why does no one want to buy my googly-eyed wrench? For the Bitcoins.